the word naive is an interesting word that I would probably want myself never described as. Today I'm going to share a summer vacation story with you. Before I do, I have a naive moment I'd like to share. In March of this year, I delivered my second speech to the club. When I think back to when I was signing up to deliver the second speech, I thought to myself, I'll get speech number two knocked out. Only eight more speeches to go, and I'll finish the competent communication manual. I should probably be able to finish this by June. <laughs> when I look back, I've taken a bit of a languid pace when I compare it to what I initially thought. <clears throat> Naive, it's a descriptive word, an adjective, showing a lack of experience, wisdom, or judgment. I hit all three. My lack of experience, I thought to myself, 10 speeches, not a problem. Definitely lacked wisdom, and it was a misjudgment on my part. In the summer of 1968, my dad and his family took a trip to the Missouri State Fair. Our family is from Missouri. That's where I was born and raised. When they traveled to the State Fair, they went from a small town called Madison, Missouri, to Sedalia, Missouri. It's a three-hour drive. Unless you're driving the bus, you probably want to allocate about four hours for that trip. They were really excited about the trip that year because they were going to be there for a full week. Generally, they would just go for a weekend and then come home. This time, my grandfather had an RV, and he was proud of that RV and was going to take the family to the state fair where they would stay there for a week living out of the RV. This is back in the 60s. My grandfather and grandmother, they're from the, uh, they grew up in the era of the Great Depression. They believed in the three R's before Earth Day was ever invented. Reduce, reuse, recycle, right? My grandfather bought an old school bus, and he fixed it up and made it into an RV. <laughs> <laughs> he repainted the exterior using spray paint, a baby blue. It was white on top and painted baby blue. He renovated the interior by taking out the bus seats and built bunk beds to accommodate his family of seven. My dad has four siblings. In addition, he installed curtains. And that was their RV. There was no air conditioning, no TV, no DVD player. The bus didn't even have seat belts. That's what they took to the state fair. When they arrived on opening day of the fair, there was a long line of cars waiting to, go, waiting to get in and park. When you picture the long line of cars, then throw in an old school bus that's painted baby blue. The way my dad would always tell us the story is they were sitting in this line, waiting, and they saw a man out directing traffic, telling everyone where to go. This was a carny. Someone who works for a carnival is generally referred to as a carny. It may not be the best way to refer to them, but that's what I call them. As the carny was directing traffic, the school bus, was, school bus was approaching him. He sees a line of cars, people who are excited and looking forward to going to the state fair, full of kids and their parents, and then he sees the school bus approaching him. There's a man driving, he has black, slick back hair. He's wearing an A shirt, or what's known now as a, as a wife beater t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and smoking a cigarette. As he approaches the carny, the carny sees this bus. Directs him to the right. And he'd been directing all the cars to the left. <laughs> My grandfather went ahead, took the instruction, and went to the left. When all the other cars parking for the fair were going to the right. They went ahead and they go to the right, they parked the bus under a nice shade tree. This is the part of the story where my dad would always remind me and my brothers how grateful we should be for air conditioning. <laughs> Whenever we would travel going to the state fair every year, he would always tell us this story and let us know he had no air conditioning. And when they parked that bus under the shade tree for that week, that was prime real estate. They park the bus, they all get out, and they're looking around, and they realize they had parked where all of the employees parked, where all of the carnies parked. 
They didn't ask any questions, they just kept looking around, and they realized that Naive Carney thought my dad's family was hired help. Hmm. He thought they were there to work the state fair rather than go to the state fair for a week. It was a naive moment on, on his part. So I just want you to remember, when you have a naive moment, embrace it. Because naive moments can make great stories. <laughs> <laughs>